presentation. I do a lot of event work right now and the ability to sort of heighten an event from something mundane and procedural to something that's a little more theatrical uh, with a little more performativity is is such a big thing. It makes everybody enjoy it. it it's good, it's good, good. I would say that one word is moment. Being able to enjoy the moment. Uh, I think being a good actor is being able to react to each moment that comes across you on stage as if you are experiencing that for the first time as a certain character. Passion, just passion for life, passion for art. Um, I just, I feel so much when I think about theater and what it's done for me and um, to be able to move people through art that way and to do a show and have people come up to me afterwards and say, you know, you made me feel this or you made me cry or, you know, you moved me in this way. It's, it's just amazing. And um, that kind of art just gives me so much passion. Perspective. Um, you know, you're playing all these different characters that come from different backgrounds that, you know, aren't the same as you. So you have to have, you know, perspective on where they're coming from. And I think that's huge in life as well. Um, you know, not always being single-minded and only seeing one way, seeing from everybody's viewpoint. A word to describe theater at Blend would just be melting pot, because I always thought it was so cool, all the different walks of life that come into the theater department, whether they've never acted before, um, whether they've never, they didn't have competition in high school or they never acted and now are amazing technicians. Like just such fun, cool, different experiences with theater all kind of came together there at Blend. Joy. Um, theater's definitely given me joy. It sounds cliche, it sounds lame, but I would not be where I am or who I am today without theater. Specifically, Blend Bryant Theater. I have tons of awesome memories associated with Blend Bryant's theater program, um, whether it's like tech week, opening night, the first hour and a half of the cast party. Um, it was just an awesome experience and uh, it was so awesome to be involved. One memory that really sticks out is I remember my first friend I was starting to make was a buddy I was in theater with, Alex, because we were working tech together. Um, and then we started talking to this guy named Albert and Albert invited us over to his place. It was the first time like the three of us hung out and it was like two of my closest friends now um, and I think will be like forever. And just something that I got from Lynn Bryant Theater that will always be with me. One of the best memories I have from Glenn is I was doing a show, Picnic at Hanging Rock, and it was a it was a live performance, and there's a time where I, the lights go down, I run off stage, change really quickly, and then by the time the lights come on, I need to be on stage, like bent on the ground, about to like emerge up when the lights come up. Well, there was a little miscommunication somewhere, and the lights started to go up, and I was still not on stage, and um, I had to like dive into this position and then really like come on and make it seem, it was just, I mean, the audience probably had no idea what was going I think I played it so awesome. I don't think the audience had any idea, but I remember afterward me and Kel Kelsey and Judith were dying laughing at how like dramatic and crazy and funny that moment was because I just had to come on all like play it cool, play it cool. But inside I'm like, I am not in the right spot. This is gonna ruin everything. And it didn't, it was a great time. One of the most fondest memories I've had uh, was when I played the character of Alseep in the play The Liar. Alseep is a, an angry character, very loud character. He's pretty much a man-child and he's very gullible. And so being able to play a character that is pretty much an emotional wreck was so fun for me. For example, this is one of the lines I was able to get to do and it was so fun to me. Clarice! See, it's kind of fun, right? But not only that, uh, I was able to do all these different festivals and I guess kind of a blend year-end party too. That was so much fun and I still remember to this day. And I'd have to say it was my first semester there doing shows. Um, we did a play called The Complete Works of William Shakespeare. The cast was amazing. Molly Allen, I love you. Um, the crew was so much fun. Um, it was just a crazy, chaotic show that had a lot of moving parts, and I think it was one of the most exciting shows that I've ever done, so 
think that was probably my favorite moment, memory from my time there. My favorite or most outstanding memory has to be my study abroad trip with Greg when we went to Canada. It was so fun and so amazing. We went to a lot of different theater festivals and workshops and I got to see Niagara Falls and hear Greg yelling, nature, as we got closer to the falls. It was, it was great and definitely one of the best experiences of probably my whole entire life, I can say. Uh, personally for me, that's gotta be Cyrano. That was a magical show in so many ways. I'm a sucker for the romanticism. Never again will I defeat 100 men with such panache. Uh, for me, that's, that's definitely uh, a highlight. There's one specific moment. I'll remember it forever from Welcome to the Moon. I remember my character's entrance. Uh, I locked eyes with Brayden Bombard. And the both of us just began to wail. We, we cried and were screaming and the crowd just absolutely erupted in laughter. They were hysterical. And that's a moment that I will never forget in my life. It was in that moment that I knew theater. Uh, it was something I had to pursue. I didn't know what it would mean. I didn't know where it would take me. Um, I didn't know if it would be something I did forever, but it hit me. Um, it hit me in the gut. I felt like it was in my DNA, and it, it was something I had to pursue.